All right, gentlemen, I'm going to walk you through our session for tonight. Uh, the focus is match match prep for, for St. Croix um, and really looking at some, a slight tweak to our build-up shape so we're better prepared. So uh, let's focus right here. So typically we build from like a 2-3, but as we get more attack-minded, it becomes a 2-1 that we leave behind, two center backs and one holding mid to protect us on the break. Um, and that's proven to be uh, presenting some challenges and how we're going to deal with that, given some of the tools we have with our center back. So first thing we're going to look at is this shift. So in possession, so and this is the challenge, as we're able to collect enough passes to really establish our possession, we're going to ask our left back to release and go high and wide. This will shift our right back across to form a new back three. So boom, we slide. At the same time as this happens, we want our eight to slide and reconnect. And then we start to get this three, two block. What this is going to do for us, um, especially as we kind of go into the rest of the USL two season, is it provides us stability, it provides us an easier way of denying that central space. And then when we do have to get pulled wide as a center back, we have more coverage on the break. So um, here we are, base shape. We have established possession. The eight drops in, and then you can see how we are able to start to overload overload the left side. What this does is we're going to be able to attract and really draw in a lot of the opposition on the left side, which is going to free our right side. So a Herbert or a Bernard who happen to be on that right side, we can really attack and isolate. So, And then again, like as I mentioned, that establishes this 3-2 block. So that's our defensive core. We want to keep our 6 and 8 behind the ball as much as possible. We really want to be able to deny those counterattacks and keep our lines tight. So from the session perspective, I'm going to start with a little technical exercise to get us going. Then we'll go to a positional game. So as I mentioned yesterday, the spaces are going to be a little bit bigger um, as we start to stretch our legs a little bit more. Um, so this is a 6v6 plus 4. Uh, the neutral players are in pink. So we're going to be in round one just looking to collect you know, possession, trying to build, circulate. Round two or three, we're going to start to involve the goals, which we'll uh, explain at the session. But 6v6 plus four, giving us a 10v6 overload, um, looking just at how we position ourselves to circulate the ball and move, uh, move the ball so that we can get in good positions to attack. We'll go into a phase, and you know, obviously we have a little bit more limited numbers tonight. So um, we're going to work this. Uh, and the phase will be the ball will start with the black the black team, and they're looking just to, to finish in the two counter goals. Gray is in our 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one shape. We're going to look to to press, win the ball, and then how do we then shift into that structure that I showed you before. So, again, we go from our defensive shape, which isn't going to change, 4-1-4-1, four, one, four, one. and even if St. Croix plays a, a wingback system or they played a 4-2-2-2, two, 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 whatever it may be, we're able and we we understand how we can close gaps to to defend but boom we have the ball we establish possession now we're starting to create these these pictures in a structure so guys i think this is an important thing again how do we we understand that our identity as a team of trying to be on the ball and controlling and we'll talk about some of the passing stats from the last game how we haven't quite hit the mark when it comes to dominating with the ball but how this is going to not only allow us to do that but also not leave us so open on the counterattack. all right we'll see you guys tonight